today's round, instead of just rocking up to the tee box, we are gonna turn up early and have a little warm up and let's see if that makes a difference to our score. What better course to try it on than the course I scored my worst all time score on the channel of 111 at Formosa. As you can see, I've done a couple of warm up sessions at the range uh, the days prior. So this is me hitting 12 minutes worth of balls and then heading across to the practice green where we go do a little bit of chipping and putting practice. Now that's all done, that's 40 minutes of warm up. Let's head across to the tee box and see how we go. All right, let's see if a warm up has actually improved me or not. Oh, sit. What's over there? The road? <laughs> All right, so we've hit it much better than I did last time I was here. So maybe the warm-up will help, but it has uh, kind of gone off to the right, which is what the practice was showing. So let's hope we can find it. All right, we've got a fairly decent shot into the pin. Just hopefully avoid that palm tree. Oh, no. Managed to go backwards. All right, we'll talk that to an existence and take eight iron at this one. Oh. My, my second shot, I hit so clean, but I hit the palm tree. <laughs> I went. I went so far back. I went forty yards backwards. It was devastating. Nice. Oh, great putt. Yes. Oh, it's a shame it's a bogey, but... Slightly right to left. It was slightly. Bogey's are fucking good, man, if you were to say a 30 handicap. I wouldn't complain about that. Ooh. Nice. All right, a lot of wind. It takes six iron at this one. Oh, no. Does it go right? Probably, it's probably red stake anyway, right? I think. All right, just made it across. <laughs> so far the warm up uh, hasn't really done anything, but. Damn it, that came off way right. All right, got a bit of rough here. Don't think there's any way I'm gonna stop this, to be honest. Yeah, definitely not going to stop it. Oh, nice. That's a great, go on, get in, get in. Oh, on camera as well. Oh my God. Fucking hell, that was so. I'll tell you what, I deserve that fucking bunker. That was so perfect, that outrageous. What's Alex fucking put it on? Surely not. <laughs> wow, that slowed. Yeah, it is uphill, but didn't expect. <laughs> didn't expect it to do that. No, <laughs> fucking hell. Makes it a nervy putt for double now as well. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> oh, I've not even caught it. Oh dear. So far, warming up has not actually done me any favours. I'm, I'm not warming up in a good way. Yeah. yeah well, I've always done that, but then I thought, you know, I'll test the, test the theory. So far, not, not doing well. As long as it drops, should be in that bunker, right? Sit, sit. Oh! Try and put it back into play on this one. Seven iron. Hmm. All right. Bit of free relief from the cart bath. All right. Over the tree. Oh, I pushed it off to the right. Don't 
No, I won't be sure it'll be over on the right. Good connection with it other than that though. Right, so far the warm up is pretty much exactly the same as what normally happens. Ropey start. Hit the 99 pretty well, but I did push it heavily to the right. But um, yeah, hopefully we can chip it on and at least have a putt for par. Probably just a little eight iron, I reckon. Sit, 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 sit. Ah, uh, I mean, it's not the worst. All right, two, two putt from here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Snuck the par. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Wind with us for a change here. Oh, no. Looks. Just uh, reload that one. Ah. Yeah, when you put it fucking 20 meters in front of you on the first one and then... <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I'm going to try and just pick it out with a 52 here. Bit short. Oh, miles short. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this one needs to be a good one. I'm gonna take the 60 and try and just get it up there. Oh, wedge is dialed. <laughs> Considering I uh, missed on that other one, should probably try and put it in. But yeah, stoked with that one. There we go, nice one putt, tidy it up. Nah, because I was free from the tee. So double, I think. There's a lot of wind going towards that water. <laughs> Oh, bollocks, I fell off that. Okay, I can see it. I know where it is. Yeah, that was, uh, should have been a six iron. I was just uh, got caught up in the glory, wanted to smack it. Now we've got to try and find it in this. Um, so yeah, let's keep an eye out. Hopefully find it. We will take that. All right, just uh, pretty happy to get it out of there, to be honest. In the fairway. We'll take it, it's on the green. Ah. Didn't come in, but tap in bogey. We'll take it. You know what? You take your swing. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Didn't get past it, did it? Yeah. Just hoping that it cleared it and then just drop over there, but. Yeah, it's over. See, that's why I haven't used the fucking shitty ball and then used my good ball and piped it all over. Huh? 
Yeah, it's smoked that one, but. <laughs> Ah, uh, another technical greening rag, but um, obviously the free from the tee has meant that um, it is not. Oh, real close. Right, okay, I think it's uphill the whole way, so we're gonna have to give this a little. Well. Yeah, we're gonna have to give this quite a, quite a bit, I think. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, it keeps going as well. I think it might be me, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Yes! Yeah, Fucking hell, for a minute I thought it was going to just sit there. <laughs> it's gone down. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Alright. Uh, six iron. Ah, oh, bollocks. Alright gone in here so just gonna drop there all right where's the where's the pin for one <laughs> all right there's a massive bunker here by the way hope it cleared the bunker I reckon maybe just slightly to the left. But yeah, good weight. I actually wanted to come off to the left and I just went straight at it in the end, so. Oh, what a shot. Great effort. Do we give it to him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd say if you're within your putter, I'll let you have it. It's definitely within my putter. No, I don't think so. Yeah, take it away, take it away. You're good. Oh, I need a break. He wasn't too confident when you... <laughs> Tidying it up, but fuck, it's messy. So another double. But again, losing shots from the tee. Need to... Sort that out. Apparently, the warm up is not doing me any favours. Uh, but playing some pretty good golf aside from the tee shots. So we we'll just stick at it and see how we go. Bollocks, man. Four right! There's no one in front of us, though, is there? Nah, you'll be on that. Oh, there's that single guy right there. You'll be on that for away, so. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, man, what's going on? Okay, this could hit the tree. Gotta try and get over it. 52. That's gotta be close. Hopefully. There we go, that should hopefully be on the green. At the very least. Um, if it's not, then bollocks. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's what happens when, you know, didn't go in the right fairway, but it was an A fairway. There we go. First birdie putt of the round. Birdie putt here would be, make up for a couple of the lost shots, but let's see how we go. Oh, hit the flag. Hit the flag. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, Reed, I'll put that one in the video, mate. <laughs> Does mine land up here? Yeah. Nah, yeah, oh, that's all good. I'll get as much intel on this as I can. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I'm just gonna move that flag because that's a nightmare flag. <laughs> all right. I reckon it's maybe pretty straight actually. Left edge to be safe, I guess. Was straight. Actually, I'm gonna take my time on this one. <laughs> Learn from earlier in the round. But tap in par, take it. Oh, oh, f 
back off. Dropped down right at the tree. Nearly got away with it. All right, so we hit that top of the tree, come down here, didn't even get in the fairway. Uh, but we're gonna try and just lay up, get in the fairway and play it sensibly. All right, have not checked the distance. I'm just gonna go eight iron, hopefully over that small palm tree on the right there. Oh, I chunked it. Cart path, cart path. Oh dear. So far, I would say it's not pretty, but we have made ground towards the pin. But now I have to hopefully avoid all these palm trees again. Right, we're miles away, so I'm just going to take a nine iron. That should hopefully give us a nice wedge in. Should definitely get over the tree this way. We have, just hope the wind didn't put it into the tree again. Ah, uh, bounce left, bounce left. There we go. Come on, get on. That's so far to the right of where I wanted to go. Oh, take it away, mate. Solid bogey. Still walking to this one. Actually, maybe put the flag in for this. Oh, yeah, I think it's left to right. <laughs> yeah. Happy with that, so considering where it was. Take the two putt. Right, short par four. Driver goes OB, so I'm gonna go two iron instead. Oh. Yeah. Let's see it come up. It's not pretty, but it'll be. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what's going for the wedding, eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> just kind of a, I assume it's a, just to the right of this tree. <laughs> that uh, second palm tree. <laughs> oh no. It's uh, tactical, mate. That's why I went up there to see the angles of the trees. Feel this one out. Don't need the distance. Fuck's sake. We'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it. Yeah. Should I just take this flag out? It's uh, it's not helping anyone that. <laughs> yeah, I reckon just slight left edge. Didn't come in at all. It's uh. Straight yeah, as. I still can't tell what this wind's doing. Oh, there we go. That's what it's doing. Yes, on the green. Oh, yeah, smoke the eight iron. About time I uh, hit a pure iron. Get to use the divot tool. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's right. <laughs> it's got, it's got to go that way. It's got to I'll happily be wrong. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a uh, straight maybe. <laughs> All right, well. Good pop up. Uh, that's still going to be in your way. Eh? Put a handle there for you. 
I really thought that was going to go right to the left there. Um, oh. oh, that counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell you missed your putt, eh? <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Yes, nice par. I'm gonna take that, so bogey par to start the back nine. Finally a good tee shot with the iron. Things are trending in the right direction. Maybe the warm up was good after all. <laughs> Just took 10 holes. <laughs> Be nice if we could all hit one straight. Oh, sit, sit. Mine went over, didn't it? Fuck! That's even worse. <laughs> right, let's see it then. Yeah. I actually reckon. See, this is where it's like, oh, I'll try and get a bit further, but it's gonna go nine iron. We'll take that. We will take that. Oh. Clean hit, but pushed it off to the right again. No. 60 degree. Oh, it's out. It's out. No confidence over that. That was the issue. And oh, my bunkers used to be really good, and now going through a bit of a bunker crisis. I'm sure everyone's been there. Oh. No, I bl bladed it. Well, it's on the green. Don't think there's any way to stop this. Oh, I reckon the wind might even slow it up a little bit. It's not coming in, but we'll take the tap in here. Ah. Fucking bunker shot cost me dearly. The one shot I couldn't warm up at, which I really needed to, was the bunkers. And that, yeah, cost me. But, let's hopefully just uh, miss the bunker next time. Right, let's see if we can collectively go over 100 metres on this <laughs> hole. <laughs> the three musketeers Well, we probably collectively just went over the 100. <laughs> Bloody hell. That would have been alright if the wind was with us. Well, I didn't get hold of it, but it was straight. So, better than some of the drives. But the wind absolutely killed it. Uh, I'm just going to take medicine here instead of go for it. It gets pretty narrow. So I'm just going to take 9 iron, hopefully play it into the fairway. This wind's gonna make it go absolutely nowhere as well. Yeah, down the middle of the fairway. Should hopefully give us a wedge shot in. All right, uh, 70. Oh, the wind is fucked to that. It's alright, it's on the green. This would normally give a pretty mean view. But, um, you can't see anything. Alright, we're now dealing with rain and wind in what is New Zealand's summer. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, lovely. Oh, get in. Oh. Oh. Should probably move the flag, but. Oh, thought that was going to move. <laughs> yeah, it might be worth getting the umbrella out now. Yeah, so rain coming down quite considerably. Oh, God. Look at over there, like you can't see anything if the rain's coming from that direction. Right, I'm just going to put the, the mic away because I don't know how waterproof it is, um, but we will resume recording. It's okay. <laughs> You haven't lost one today, so I don't pity you that bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to lose that one. <laughs> oh no, is that the one? That's the Pro V1, I haven't lost it all yeah. Should probably bring out the wet glove here. The glove's actually fucking soaked. I saw it like just a couple of seconds ago, I was nice and dry, and then... Yeah. Like, I just felt like sludge in my hand. Yeah, this is why my mate cancelled. Uh, so I'm determined to see it out, just to be like, yeah, worth it. Yeah. <laughs> wet glove on. Just hopefully get it over. Yeah. I think it might have rolled back into the fairway, but yeah. nice it's over the over the gap, which is the the main thing. Too much water on the screen, so couldn't record. Hit a pitching wedge, as you can see, just shy of the bunker, and then chipped on and did a one putt to save bogey. Well, unfortunate to lose that ball on dry day. I'm sure we would have found that one. <laughs> Moving on to a short par three. However, the wind and the rain going against us here. Taking the pitching wedge at hand, should be a pretty good number for me. And I managed to chunk it from the tee and find myself in the middle of the valley. <laughs> Less than ideal. As you can see now I've got to do a 60 degree to chip back up onto the green. Kind of chunk that a little bit as well and end up in the bunker. As you know the bunker has not been going well this round. With all the rain, it's extra wet. But open the face and actually managed to flop this one out quite nicely towards the pin. Green's being slightly wetter, wanted to give it a little bit more. Which meant that I ended up pushing it just a little bit too far, but we're going to tap it in for an easy double. Which is what's going to happen when you chunk two shots in one hole. But we're going to blame that one on the weather. Moving on to a straight par 5, a little valley a bit further up, so two shots and then approach as the plan. Driver back in hand, the rain has actually died off a little bit, but probably wasn't worth getting the mic out, and I piped that driver right down the middle, one of the best drives of the day. And that rolls out a little bit, however unfortunately unable to capture the next shot, but I took a wedge just to tee up, rather than going for the valley at 200 and something metres. Seemed like the safe play. Originally opted for the 8 iron. However, we had a big gust of wind with us, and that made me decide to change to a 9-iron. Yeah, yeah, I was like, nah. That is gonna... Which turned out to be a great decision. I hit the 9-iron directly at the pin, and the 8-iron could have gone way long. Leaving myself with a good chance to get par, hopefully. That nearly went in for bird. I've just missed off to the right, but it does make for an easy tap in par. Actually getting a little bit of form going into these last few holes now. So par four, 315 meters. Uh, hazard off to the right, so just want to stick on the left hand side. And I've hit that one again down the middle, pretty much exactly where I wanted to be. May have got a little lucky to not be obstructed by this tree to the pin. Ended up taking a pitching wedge at this one. And carrying it just a little bit too long. And unfortunately now I've gone long, but we're not in the hazard. So we'll take that. Um, but yeah, in terms of 
my opinion so far if I think warming up is better? Probably. If not for me. <laughs> oh dear. So he managed to put three balls into that water somehow. Anyway, over to me with this 60 degree. Just really needs to do a little dink out because it goes horribly downhill. Landed it pretty much where I wanted to, but that second bounce just gripped in the rough. Most unfortunate as that was nearly perfect. Leaving with another 60 degree to just get out of the rough. And landed it just there. It didn't come enough to the right, but you can see how much that's rolled out. Should give us a nice tap in for bogey. Putting's been pretty good today, so I definitely recommend doing some putting warm-up practice. And yep, managed to sink that one in for bogey. Unfortunately, my camera died going onto the 18th hole, but you can see I hit a drive down the left-hand side, just avoiding the bunker. 52 degree wedge towards the green. Unfortunately, found a little hazard over there, so I had to take another drop, one of the many we've had today. Thankfully, managed to recover with a nice chip onto the green and secured a one putt for bogey. So in tough conditions, we ended up 24 over. So was warming up worth it? Probably but it's not going to make you the best player in the world, that's for certain. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.